Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This feels so weird. Like, I don't remember the last time I picked up my phone to record. Like, I actually need to look back and see the last time I posted, which I think was like last year sometime, probably even before the summer holidays or during the summer holidays. I don't know. Anyways, but yes, I'm back now for God. Fingers crossed. Fingers freaking crossed. Um, but thank you so much for like for those who kept supporting me while I was, you know, out of YouTube for a while. I just had too much stuff going on. And then like I started my second year of uni and it just wasn't the right time. Like I really did think that I was gonna have the time to make videos, but I really don't. Um, and then on top of that, I started placement recently. Obviously started working as well. So it was just too much. But I finally decided to make a schedule. So I'll be recording every Sunday and then posting every Saturday. So when I record on Sunday, I have the whole week until like Thursday, Friday-ish to edit the video and then upload it and then be ready for Saturday. So for now, anyways, because I've got so much going on, I'll be posting just once a week. Uh, obviously, I'll still be taking up any ideas that you guys want me to make. Uh, right now, I'm starting off easy just because um, when I was like, while I was gone, like while I was out of YouTube, I like, Ugh! I had a lot of people asking me to make like certain videos so you know like I do listen to my audience first you know before myself I have to be guys first for me so yeah I'll be doing that as well um and then I've got some videos coming up with some friends as well which hopefully they'll do to be lit but anyways before we get started you know what to do make sure to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for the 400 subscribers I don't know when I hit it um but it was good to see that while I was out of YouTube people were still subscribing but anyways I'm here Hopefully for God, we'll see where this will take us. Right, so let's get on the video. Okay, so I don't even know how to start. Like, I literally don't remember how I record my videos. This is so embarrassing. But anyways, as you have had a title, um, I'll be helping you guys how to pass your driving test first time. If you don't pass your driving test first time and you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. It's not my fault, but I'm really trying. Obviously, I passed mine first time and I'm here to give you guys like some tips on how it was how my day went what things you need to prepare what things you need to do so obviously I've got a list of it here with me as always because my memory is crap we all know this my memory is crap I'm always here with either my phone or my notebook or a piece of paper but anyway today is a piece of paper right so today is the 6th of March 2022 and I passed my driving test October last year so it's been uh, November, December, Jan, Feb, March. It's been nearly, not even nearly, nearly five months. Yes, it's been five months. Yeah, it was five months. Yeah, it's been five months this week ever since I passed my driving test. So I passed, it was October 1st and then I bought my car October the 31st. So I literally passed and bought the car the same month. But the car is like a whole different video, not for this video. Anyway, so uh, what happened was I passed my theory second time. As soon as I passed it, I booked my so i passed in august uh did i pass in august yes i passed my driving test in august and then um i had my driving test scheduled for november so this was back 2021 just last year so i booked it for november so i kept practicing i was doing about well well before i passed my theory test uh, my instructor didn't let me do any more than two hours a week unfortunately that was just mine but a lot of people let you do more than two hours a week without your theory test um, so, um, I was doing two hours a week, and then as soon as I passed my theory, uh, she was letting me do like four to six hours, like not too much, you know, because my test wasn't up until November anyways. Right, so August passed a bit, um, I was already doing like maybe 25 hours, I, I think I already had like 25 to 30 hours of like practice of driving. Obviously I was driving my dad's car as well. Um, to practice and everything so what was I going what was I going to say I feel so nervous why am I feeling so nervous I don't remember the last time I actually recorded I feel so nervous anyways so yeah so in August as soon as I passed it I just carried on as soon as I passed my, my theory test I just carried on doing my lessons and then came the end of September sorry August and I was just doing more and more lessons and then beginning of September came and you get this like app I'll put it on the screen I can't remember what it's called I don't remember what it's called, but there's this app where um, it tells you like any cancellations, but you do have to pay for it. I think it's like eight pounds. You do have to pay for it. So it will tell you if there's any like cancellations or new driving tests coming up soon. So that happened to me. Beginning of September, um, I got a notification saying there was a cancellation and I asked my driving shop to like, should I do it? Should I go ahead? But you have to be super quick because like people are just literally on the app refreshing. So you have to be like 
not even a minute like seconds so i quickly texted her she wasn't replying so i quickly called her saying oh listen there's a cancellation for um october the first like should i book it should i not book it she was like yeah go ahead like we have two weeks to practice not even two weeks we had a week to practice everything good for everything that's fine so then she said yes i'm gonna book it you don't have it doesn't charge you for you to change your um driving test days by the way so you're completely fine so then i did that and then I booked it and then within that week I was doing bare lessons and then thank god I passed uh, but anyways enough of my experience let's move on to the actual video right so obviously passing a driving test for the first time sometimes it can be quite hard no one's gonna judge you if you haven't trust me like it's not that deep I mean it is money in the bin but there's more opportunities out there do you know what I mean cool so number one is not really it's not it's not really a tip yet but I'm just gonna show you like tell you how the day goes so you get there, make sure you get there on time. When I say there on time, I mean like 15 minutes before, like 15 to 20, not 10 minutes before, literally 15, 20. Um, uh, obviously, I do advise you guys, I didn't get this opportunity, but I do advise you guys to have an hour lesson before your driving test. So on a driving test, my, instruct my, ugh, my instructor came to pick me up from my house and I drove to the uh, test centre. I never had any lessons on that day, which uh, really upset me because I felt so nervous, but I ended up passing anyway, so I was happy about that. So I had a lesson the day before, which was two hours. So if you don't have a lesson the day, like not the day, sorry, a few hours before your driving test, make sure you have it the day before, so then you're at least prepared. So that's like my tip number one, like make sure you do have that hour or two hours lesson before. So yeah, the day goes like that, and then you go in, I think you sign, it feels like such a long time ago, you sign like a paper, I think, with your name, date, and you, and you sign it with your signature i believe so so then you wait in the waiting area you're the in what do you call them people again examiner that's it <laughs> the examiner comes to get you you then walk so what happened to me is that you you, you asked me a show me and tell me questions so this is my advice number two revise for your show me and tell me questions yes they are just minors they're not majors but i would advise you to do it anyways because it's needed so while we walk into the car he asked me um a tell me question which to be honest with you, I don't remember my show me and tell me questions. I think it's like, one of them was like, can you tell me how, how would you know if the brakes are working? Something like that. And then my show me question was, I can't lie, I can't remember my show me tell me, what my show me question was. But anyways, 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 moving on. Right, so while walking to the car as well, you have to read someone else's license plate. Tell me why I got it wrong. Instead of saying W, I said M. And I wear glasses. I felt so dumb. I was like, oh my God, he's going to fail me. And I, I thought, like, I apologized to him like five times. Like, I'm really, really sorry. I can read another one if you want me to. But he was like, nah, just leave it. It's fine. So do be careful of that because there's some examiners out there that are not nice. But he was really nice to me, actually. So I got lucky. Tip number three um, is that once you get in the car, right, and you drive off, your examiner is going to bust combo with you. Like, most people that I spoke to anyways, or all the people I spoke to, all the examiners bust combo. I personally don't like that because it's like I'm trying to concentrate for my test. Why are you busting combo with me? Like, don't do that. I'm trying to concentrate. But anyways, he was really nice to me. We were talking about like what course I do and everything else. Um, obviously, there was times where he did distract me and that caused me to have minors. But I was never trying to argue with him about it. Like, there was just no point because I feel like maybe if I argued, I would have got the bad side out of him and he would have failed me. So at this point. When you're driving, uh, even though you think you're in the right, trust me, like, your examiner is always in the right, you're in the wrong. It's like working in a shop, like, working in Primark. If the customer is complaining, make sure they're always in the right and you're in the wrong. Like, it works like that when you're having your driving test. I know sometimes you feel like you're in the right, and I've obviously, my friend recently, um, he had a driving test and that happened to him as well, where obviously it was, like, a bit of an argument. Sometimes you feel like you're in the right, but there's no point of arguing because it's not going to change anything, do you know what I mean? But yeah, so, like, make sure to try and like have less combo when you're driving at the same time it's like 50 50 because 50 percent is god because it's like it helps you to um it helps you to like being able to drive and then do like multitasking basically even though you're really supposed to do that but it just helps you multitask so like your examiner will know that you know even though you're talking you're still concentrating to what you're doing but at the same time it's not good because it's like it'll distract you and then it will you know, leave you to mind and everything but yeah my next tip, I don't have that many tips, I'm so sorry, just because I don't feel like there's that many tips to help someone pass a driving test. I didn't day like, it's about how you drive, but anyways, yeah. My next tip is when you're driving, right, um, I don't know if it's a good tip, but I'm going to give it to you guys anyways. When you're driving, if you think what you're doing is wrong, or if you think that something's, like, anything that's approaching you at this point, if it's a person, if it's a vehicle, doesn't matter what it is, stop what you're doing, literally stop the car, obviously, 
depends where you are in it but stop the car and let the person go or let the car go because sometimes when you go it like they tell you off because apparently you didn't give priority to, to the other person i can't explain it but anyways make sure like you always give a priority to the others because sometimes you're, you're like your examiner would like to see you doing that if that makes sense so make sure you always put people before you all right so my next tip as well is don't worry about what time your driving test is like trust me people are going to tell you that if you drive at night you're going to fail if you drive in the afternoon because of rush hour you're going to fail don't listen to people trust me because i did that and that made me so nervous i kept, like my friends kept telling me oh Bruno, like you're going to fail a driving test because your driving test is in the afternoon my time sorry my driving test was at 2 32 p.m right so i think there's only four different times you could choose from mine's at 2 32 p.m and i know obviously my friends are supposed to be supportive whatever which obviously really upset me to be honest anyways so but just because in the afternoon trust me that doesn't mean anything at the end of the day yeah like it's about how you drive it's not about what time it is on the day if it's raining if it's snowing it's about how you drive this is about you this isn't about the time of the day this isn't about nothing else or no one else like this is about you like it's how you drive so if you're confident enough to drive during the day during the night during the evening during god knows what time you're going to pass like literally don't bother like stressing about or like my driving test is at 2 32 p.m like what the heck am i gonna do literally don't worry like you've got this it's about how you drive um but anyways i don't think i have any more tips like i know people ask me to do this video but it's like that's all i can give to you um just because it's like at the end of the day it's how about you how you drive you know on your driving test so it kind of gets like that but yeah personally i feel like um in terms of like how many hours you do for your driving test it depends on people people learn faster than others i think before i pass my driving test I had about 42 hours of practice this doesn't include like my dad helping me out literally i spend a lot of money and sometimes it's like yeah i was paying 25 pound an hour so i bought like a 10 hour package you know 250 pounds so i'd say i spent like a good 800 to like 1k pounds just to pass my driving test and bearing in mind your driving test is like 60 pounds nothing comparing to what you spend when you're when you're practicing it and obviously guys Okay, this is kind of a tip, but not to do with your driving test. What kind of idiots actually? Don't tell, literally don't tell anyone that you've got your test coming up. People, I'm telling you, people wish the worst in you. I'm telling you now, like, people do not want you to be happy. People do not want you to be successful. So if you do have your test coming up soon, it doesn't matter if it's your theory test, any type of anything, literally don't tell anyone. My driving test, who knew about it was i completely forgot my parents knew about it one of my closest friends knew about it and that was about it not even my own partner during the time anyways knew about it i didn't tell anyone literally anyone about it like until i passed it and that's when i posted on social media just because like i've had previous experiences in the past where i've told people stuff and then it didn't go well because people don't wish you well like trust me so if you go i know it's like so um what's the word i've got the word is i know you want to tell your friends like so bad you want to tell the whole world like i've booked my, my driving test i've booked my theory test but trust me like these people don't wish good on you no one wants to see you happy no one wants to see you successful people do you know what yeah people are jealous Anyways, guys, um, I'm so sorry if this video was actually shambles because I feel so nervous recording this. Like the last time again I recorded it was probably like five, six months ago. So I haven't posted in a while. But yeah, I'm about to take the hair up because it's actually disgusting. What the heck? Yeah, I'm about to take the hair up because it's actually disgusting. What the heck? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are alright today. But yes, make sure make sure you tell me what videos you want. I feel so nervous doing this, I actually need to stop. Make sure you also add my all my socials because um I've had a lot of people from YouTube um, adding me on Snap or messaging me on Instagram telling me positive things which I really appreciate it or telling me like ideas or videos that they want me to do. Obviously I'm standing off small because I don't really have much time to like edit a big ass video or like group videos but obviously like me and my flatmates we're going to start making videos together so hopefully that'll be fun for you. I thought I'd start off with this one because people have been begging me to do it. I'll also show you guys uh, my car. I'll give you like a little car tour you know and I'll and then how to buy your first car as well i've had people ask me to do that so like tips and everything because trust me i've had a bad experience i've had a bad experience so you guys want to hear that but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video okay this feels so awkward man what the heck i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i'll be posting every saturday don't really have a time but i aim to post around like 8 p.m that's when people are active 
you know on a saturday it's kind of hard because people go out saturdays but anyways hey guys make sure to like comment and subscribe okay make sure you do that make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe because i'm really happy with the 400 subscribers i have at the moment so yes so our journey now is to hit 500 we've got this i know we've got this I know we've got this. but anyways guys i will see you soon peace